Principal Party says it belongs to all Nigerians, irrespective of ethnicity or religious background. The party prides itself on the seemingly acceptance by the younger generation. In the studios with me is the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Abayomi Ulua Femi. Thank you very much for coming on the News at 10. Thank you very much. All right, so um, your party seems to be gaining acceptance on social media, especially by the younger generation. How does this uh, make you feel? How does the party receive this? Well, we, we, we have gone uh, beyond this issue of social media. I think it is just, uh, you know, the work of our detractors, you know, saying we are social media, you know, we are social media politicians, we are social media political party. We have gone beyond that, and that uh, was why we are now the talk of the town. We are now the only party to beat. We are not the third force, but the first one. Why we have two other dominant parties are the second and third force, because they have us, you know, to beat. It's very obvious that the uh, Labour Party has already won this election. Uh, INEC just uh, concluded their uh, continuing voter registration exercise, and for the first time in the history of Nigeria, we have over 7.5 million youth. They didn't register because of the current administration. They didn't register because of the uh, PD PDP. They are people who are yearning for change. These are not social media. They went to a, I mean, a registration center to register and obtain their PVC. So we have gone beyond that now, and uh, we, are only, we are only close to victory. The elections are yet to, to hold, so declaring that you've won, we have to wait till it's 2023. <laughs> All right. Now, let's talk about uh, the issue of the third force. It's always been in the front burner where people would say, uh, well, uh, you have the main uh, opposition party, PDP, and the ruling party, APC. And then some would say, uh, Labour Party and perhaps NNPP with regards to every other political party also that can really win this election. Uh, would you say this Labour Party as it stands today can easily refer to as a third force? Well, thank you very much. Uh, the, the, the point I am trying to make up in this show was that uh, Labour Party presidential candidate is the only pan-Nigerian, the only true Nigerian who want to become president of Nigeria. Why do I say so? Uh, we have two other dominant political parties, you know, the PDP who are decided to work against the interests of Nigeria, the yearning of Nigeria that the president should be zoned to the south after, you know, the eight years of tenure of the current administration. So I, 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 will, I, will, I, I am going to refer to them in, as one of the pretenders. Uh, the APC, in fact, they also committed a policy somersault, you know, a political somersault by even playing on intelligence of Nigeria, you know, in the in the in their presidential and vice presidential candidate. So Peter B is the truly Nigerian person who wants to run for the office of the president. We are not, you know, ethnically inclined. We are not usually inclined, you know, like the other two parties that you know brought us to where we are. We are in a country, Nigeria, as we on strike, as we on strike over one point uh, one trillion, but yet we have an administration that said they want to control, they want to consolidate for $1.9 billion, okay. you know, to the uh, uh, Nigerian Republic. I think uh, for now, Nigeria know the fact, Nigeria know the truth that Peter Obi remain the only candidate that can satisfy, that can give Nigeria what they desire. The other two are just pretenders. All right, we'll wait for the campaign proper to come, but let's talk about the fact that it seems as if all is not entirely well within the Labour Party. Uh, there are reports that some uh, appointment made by Professor Patu told me uh, caused some kind of crisis and people are not comfortable with it. It seems that all is actually not well within the party. No, all is well. You know, what, what actually transpired was that uh, some people misguided elements, you know, within the core, you know, of uh, let me say media were the one that twisted you know, that issue out that, uh, oh, Professor Pai told me made, you know, such an appointment. And you will see the release that I made through the Office of the National Chairman. I said, he never said it, but we only just want to curtail such an occurrence. That's why we said, Labour Party Constitution is very sacrosanct. Only the Office of the National Chairman that has, you know, the right to make any appointment through the office of the National Public Security. So everything is actually <coughs> in, in order? Everything is actually in order, but we are just trying to guide such other, I mean, such uh, event, you know, to happen in future, so that other people will now latch on that, you know, misadventure to think they can also, you know, uh, put some... Did you just uh, say spinal. misadventure? 
Yeah, we, because some people, because of our acceptance, they are just looking for a way and manner. Just like a false news that people said, oh, OB supporters said they are going to burn the shrine. Our president candidate visited, you know, Febby Kuti in company of Charlie Boy today. I mean, uh, of Charlie Boy. And all, you know, was, well, just right. people are just trying to, you know, find a manner of discord between all us right. and Nigerians. All right, let's talk more about what's happening in the country. The ASU strike has entered its sixth month, and just today where there was a kind of uh, a sigh of relief where we heard that the electricity workers had suspended their strike, although for two weeks. What was the Labour First Party's view and stand on this? I think our president candidates have been you know, happy on, on an issue that we have to be a, produ you know, a producing nation, we have to be a productive nation, so that at least people can come to Nigeria you know, to, to bid for our Naira for import. We are not producing. All our refineries, they are down. Tomato paste company in, in, in Kano is dead. We don't even come manufacturing other than you know, saying all of them, textile, every, every company is dead. So we are now the one, you know, chasing dollars up and down, and, you know, we kept devaluing our Naira. Labor Party administration, we bring about, you know, Nigeria as a producing nation so that they can be bidding for our Naira. And another will now have a strength, just like the, I mean, in, right, in 1970. That, that's, that's for the past sector. What about yeah. the education, which is very, very important as well? Well, you see, everything will still revolve around in our capacity to generate our own money. Because ASU, what is running with ASU, they are only there 1.1 trillion. Government said they don't have the money. Why where will government get the money? Because as I now, the Minister of Finance told Nigeria that our debt is now 90% over our income. We are in trouble. So where are they going to get the money? Except we continue to produce. Except Nigeria, you know, go back into product. I mean, product. I mean, the, the sector. We will not. We will still continue to run this vicious circle of debt. You know, issues with ASU, issues with with the energy sector. They said. They, I mean, they, I had the minister saying it's about supply of gas, shortage of gas. What did you have in this country? We don't have fuel. Once we don't have fuel, we don't have gas because they take our crude oil abroad, you know, to go and refine. They come back to tell us that, oh, there is subsidy, there is subsidy. When we have refinery, I, I, I need to correlate Alaji Aliko Dangote for, you know, having the transit to build a refinery. Right. Nigeria should take a clue from that. Let us, let our foreign refinery, you know, be, be revived so that right. we can save, you know, our Thank money. You. We, can, we can save our money and, 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 and get Nigeria back on track. All right. Thank you so much. Habayo Mulua Femi. Uh, he is the uh, publicity secretary of the Labour Party. We want to thank for your time and thoughts on the news at 10. Thank you very much. All right, you're still watching the news at 10.